This TK2 stroke here, and today I'm going to be doing a little experiment with using a bleed box for bleeding my PDS shock instead of using a vacuum bleeder for a bottle. Um, I've heard about this, a lot of people talking about doing a bleed box in order to take air out of the equation. I haven't seen anyone actually do it, so uh, this is an experiment. Um, I'm not 100% sure it'll work, but it should work. And the reason I'm doing this is number one, I'm out with an ACL injury, so I'm just screwing around and attempting other procedures. And uh, number two, to prove if it works or not. You know, there's basically, you know, you could bleed these by using, the best way to bleed it, of course, is using a, a vacuum bleeder. Um, but if you don't have $600 or more to spend on a shockbleeder.com or and, and the vacuum, and you don't want to do it with a vac uh, with a bleed bottle, then this might be a good option. Yeah, if for some reason this doesn't work out, I'll leave it in the comments that this has been unsuccessful, but I'll pretty much know probably by the end of this video whether this system is successful. So I'm sure a lot of people are saying, well, this is a waste of oil. So I made this bleed box, um, 20 bucks for scrap wood at Home Depot some caulk uh, using some flex seal which actually didn't work out so well and so then I ended up putting the plastic around the box as well to ensure there's no leakage so a lot of people are gonna say well you have to use seven quarts of oil is what this bleed box is gonna take in order to do the job and you're gonna waste seven quarts of oil in order to do a shock build now I, you know that argument if you have that argument and you leave, leave it in the comments don't waste your time I don't care about whether you think this is a waste of money or not, because it's not. After I'm done with the oil, it won't be contaminated because all this has been placed in the dishwasher already. So this is all exceptionally clean already. I've used seven quarts of oil. I'm gonna use probably about two thirds of a quart to fill up the shock, and the rest of it is gonna go in a sealed bucket, and I'll save it for later to do on my other shocks. So seven quarts of oil is about 115 bucks, about 20 bucks to build the box and then you can pretty much bleed your own shock. Uh, a couple things before we get started. When you start to do this, I've already done this as a dry run to make sure this is gonna work. Um, not with oil yet, so I haven't done it with oil. Is in the reservoir body, you're gonna wanna make sure you have the plug in because you don't want oil to go in this side of the reservoir. The piston, the reservoir piston is already pushed all the way down and we're gonna use that to help us bleed when we push it up into its position. It ends up getting pushed all the way up with the exception of about one centimeter from the top. And when you push that reservoir up from the bottom, it'll push out, if there happens to be any leftover air, it'll push it out through here. Also, if you have an x trig clamp on it, um, don't put the x trig all the way on yet. You can just put it on the body itself and then just make sure it spins so that, because if, if it's on the bottom, it takes up more space, it's gonna lift up the shock body and it's gonna require more volume of oil in order to do this bleed process. Drop the shaft in. And as we're doing this, one of the reasons why the PDS shock in particular gets so much air trapped in when you do it the conventional way is this entire cavity fills with air. So if you were doing this the, the traditional way, a place filling the shock body up with oil and then pushing this in, you're gonna trap a lot of air inside this cavity, in addition to the air inside the shock reservoir here. So by dropping it into the oil, we'll let it sit there. Um, and that's what makes it so difficult when you get that much oil, when you use a, a bleed bottle, it just takes an incredible amount of time and you have a little bit of uncertainty whether you've gotten out all the oil, all the air out of the shock. So this would screw into the top here and we'd fill it up with oil and you'd have to make sure that the air, you're gonna keep working the air out to the top of the shock and use the bleed bottle to let the air come in and, and replace it with oil. I don't like the bleed bottle. Uh, I think it just takes too long. And that's one of the experiments with the bleed box. When I get started here, I don't think this is gonna take me any more than 10 minutes. And I guess we're gonna find out here in a, in a minute. You know, I have no certainty. I wanted to fill that up with oil initially, but you can see it bubbling out. Uh, 
Uh, make sure you have your compression adjuster out. So have that out. You can see some bubbles coming out inside the valve and that's another area. Let's not introduce any air. Let's assemble. And the reason you leave your bleeder plug unplugged is so as you're pushing the shock shaft up into the body, which is just, as, just as so easy, that it'll allow oil to come out the compression adjuster area. I'm gonna put the compressor assembly in. Is in. On your oil. I'm going to pull the shock shaft back out to the end. 